replicating an experiment for what a crime scene would look like. So right now they're making sure that they go through all the proper steps that they would in a, during a normal investigation. We have looked at the evidence that we can touch physically, we've looked at the papers, looked inside the books, and we found many sticky notes. So right now we're labeling everything in the crime scene so we know what is what and where it is. And we've actually connected a few dots between dates that are in the sticky notes and dates on the papers. And, and we're on yeah, people's names. If we want to be as organized as possible so we don't taint the evidence. Yeah, we're kind of just like looking around and trying to piece together yeah, what happened. What's going to happen is that they're going to find a message and they're going to have to look behind the printer. And once they get to look behind the printer, then they're going to find a phone number that they're going to call. Once they call a phone number, they're going to find a Twitter account based on that phone number. And then they're going to potentially decrypt the message that's on Twitter in order for them to solve a crime from, from someone who's an artificial intelligence expert that's just left their computer lane behind.